there was an American boy who tripped and fell into the river. Thirty years later, he woke up in the countryside of China. Surrounded by strange language, he was frightened and fainted. This was heard by the ambassador. No identity card, no passport. No. Soon he was taken back to his house in America. The detective knocked on his door. Are you Jacket's father? Was your son missing? We have found him. It can't be. My son died 32 years ago. He was not happy at all. But when he saw the child, he was speechless. He was exactly his dead son. Unlike him, his mother recognized him right away. Her hands were shaking. Her son still remained the appearance of 32 years ago. And she was so old. You look different. The mother held her son and cried. The father stepped aside and was thinking aimlessly. That time a policeman came. He blamed the detective for writing a report about a boy who had died 32 years ago. Hello Mr. Garland. Seeing the boy, the policeman was shocked. Because of his epilepsy, he was taken to the hospital. He saw his old classmate there. His friend was a grown-up now and he was still a kid. In this world does there really exist resurrection? Everyone was skeptical. The doctor gave him a thorough checkup. He seemed like he didn't have a heartbeat. He touched the stethoscope, the heartbeat went back to normal. Was he a ghost? When everyone was skeptical and anxious, he went missing again. He ran to the river where he had died before. His father saw him and chased after him. When he was running, he drowned in the memory. At that time he was young, he played with his son there. He used to think that those days would last forever, he could have watched his son grow up. Inside the hole on a tree near the bank, he found stuff. It was the doll covered by a piece of old cloth which was the present that his father gave him. Looking at that model, the old man fell deep into his recollections. At home, the boy's appetite was huge. Can I eat another piece? Of course, you can eat as much as you want. The mother pretended that she didn't see that peculiar scene, but the father was indifferent. He usually told people that this resurrected child wasn't his son. Time went by. One afternoon the father secretly went to the cemetery and looked at the grave of his son who died 32 years ago. Some people said, the more you loved, the greater the pain and scare. He was afraid of disappointment, so he didn't dare to believe that this was truly his dead son. In the evening, in the dream, he saw the soul of another resurrected soul. That guy smiled in the sunlight and turned into ashes. He looked at himself, it might be anticipation. After waking up, he hugged his mother. The next morning, the mother still took care of him like 32 years ago. Apart from the strange age gap, everything was fine. The neighbors, however, didn't think so. Whenever the boy appeared, they would run from him. Everyone was afraid of him. Eddie, come here, honey, let's go home. Kids, come here, we should go. Let's go. The detective wanted to relieve their scare, so he opened the boy's coffin to see whether he was still in there or not. Looking at the coffin, the father freaked out. He thought of one day 32 years ago. When opening the coffin, the detective saw his dead body was still in there. It was even wearing the same red shirt. So who was the kid outside? Are you Jacob's grandparents? The couple was mistaken for the boy's grandparents by the teacher. After a confusing moment, they went home. After Jacob resurrected, his father was acting ignorantly. Because he was afraid that his son would die again, so he warned himself that he wasn't his son. But the signs showed him that this is his once dead Jacob. He told his wife about his confusion. Told her that every time he saw the boy, he remembered the day his son died, 32 years ago. He even recollected that his wife had raised him inside her body for 10 months before giving birth to him. And that he buried his son with his own hands. At night, the father enters the boy's room. Hardly had he left when the neighbor kids arrived to mess things up. They scared Jacob. Do you see the soul of a boy, mom? The next morning, the doctor came to check up on Jacob's body. During that time, Jacob's mother found out that under his bed there was a lot of food packaging. Compared to general kids, Jacob's appetite was abnormal. Moreover, he didn't sleep at all. This made the mother very worried, but she didn't want to tell her husband. Although those might be a sign of danger but finding her son again, she decided to pretend to be unaware. This is the scene the next morning. The mother was playing the piano in the living room, the father was reading a newspaper on the couch. The son was playing with his friend in the living room. Such a cozy atmosphere, it made people almost forget that Jacob was a resurrected boy. At night, Jacob entered his father's room said he was scared. He was scared of the kids coming to bully him. You're safe now, he was so scared that he would be taken away once more. Do they take me away? No, no one has the right to take you away. Why do you think like that? The normal conversation between him touched the deepest corner of the father. He entered the dusty basement, down there, he went through each page of the diary about his son. His footprint when he was first born. Photos of him since he was small till he grew up. The father cried. This is the only time he cried throughout the movie. He cried his heart out. This was his son who died 32 years ago. He had never thought about there would be one day his son came back. It's even more excruciating when he accepted everything someone told him that, there's a likelihood that his son would disappear. That was too cruel. Not long since the son resurrected, his grandmother also revived. What happened? I'm dead, but I have returned just like you. Seeing the grandmother who had died for ages, everyone was speechless. 
especially the father. Suddenly he had the chance to meet his dead mother. Never had he expected that before dying, he could meet his mother once more. In the town, the dead people resurrected more and more. Some people died in another country, people who died of traffic accidents. The whole town was in such chaos. People in town were divided into two groups. People who had lost their family members considered it as a gift. People who didn't lose their loving ones considered it as the invasion of evil. The scared ones tried asking the government to take those dead people away. The authorities intervened. Unfortunately the grandmother's second son was a scared one. He called the army. The army almost took Jacket away. The second son denied admitting that dead people resurrected. Though including his mother, the grandmother actually had some conflicts with him. He hate me. That year when you were unconscious. Freud didn't visit once. He was heartbroken, so he waited in the hallway. Every day, listening to the whole story, the mother had mixed feelings. She kept silent about this since she was dead, or this was the meaning of their resurrections. To resolve any misunderstanding and regret. After that, the grandmother came to her second son. She visited his house. That time, he was about to kill himself with a gun. He was almost 60 didn't have a family, his career was a failure, his life wasn't what he wanted it to be. No mother wanted to see her child like that. Who am I? Mother. That's right. Don't worry, everything will be fine. She woke her son up. Unlike Jacob's innocence, she knew well that her time in this world was about to end. Then she tried everything to encourage her son to move on and live well. Everyone will die someday. You have to get over it. It's quite unbelievable that a 50, 60-year-old man would still be scolded by his mother. After scolding him, the grandmother returned and organized a family party. At the party, three generations reunited. It was a family dinner which was impossible to happen. The grandmother was happy, but she was hiding a fact that one day the dead people would disappear. How do you feel when your mother has come back? I suddenly realize that I am even older than her. But I still think that she is my mother. This is a series that hasn't ended yet. So this story can only be told here. It mentions a lot of things, including friendship, love, and family. I recommend that you should watch the whole movie. For instance, if a dead family member returned to see you, would you feel happy?